What's going on guys? We got a new version of Legend Bowl that I wanted to share with you and do a quick video to kind of talk you through what is new with the latest update and uh, just kind of share with you this update so you guys can see in real time what to expect and uh, check it out firsthand. So this is version 0.1.3.4 and I know those are hard to, to say, but uh, that's the way it works in my world of uh, Game Maker Studio. But um, this is what we got. So we got a brand new update and last week there was some input from the community about wanting to add in some customization stuff. And uh, face masks I think were mentioned and basically changing face mask colors specifically, right? So what I did is I've, I've been working on gameplay ever since the release. I mean, the majority of what I've worked on is is on the field improvements. And there are still a few things that I want to get to, but the game is really, really taking shape. Last week when I released the previous version, uh, there were a couple of issues that are going to be fixed in this version. So I did do some updates. There will be release notes in the uh patch notes on Steam. But uh, the main thing here is that I started working on customization stuff. All right. So as you can see, if you look at the guys here, um, you really won't see it here, but because they're these are the default colors. But basically what was happening is your sleeve colors around the top of your arm there uh, that match, you know, that are on the jersey, those sleeve colors would always have to be the same as the pant stripe colors, right? You don't see them here, like I said, because the default colors, I actually had them different, but then as soon as you would change anything in the game, in this section here, you would basically lose the, uh, the two colors and you would end up having just the, the sleeve colors be the same as the pant colors, right? So, Basically what I did this week, which is a lot of work, and I say it because everything in this game is layered. The helmets are layered, the facial hair is layered, uh, the jerseys, the pants, the socks, the shoes, the gloves. I mean, every single thing in this game is layered. So every sprite you see, every animation you see is a different layer that is composed and compiled into one you know, final drawing, which is what you see here on the bottom, right? Each one of these views here are all the layers put together into one and they're all being colored dynamically based on a palette, right? And what you can do here is you can actually change any of this stuff. So you can change the helmets and, you know, all different colors and that's been in the game, right? But in this version, I went ahead and added a few things. First thing I added was helmet stripes. So now you can actually change the color of these to whatever color you want. And if you want to keep it the same color as the helmet, well, all you got to do is just set it to the same color. So if I set it to that color there and I set it to the same color here, then you basically have the helmet you had before without a stripe. Okay. You could also just do the outside, right? You can also just do the one stripe in the middle, right? So if you just wanted to do, we're just going to make something for fun here. Let's say we wanted to do, uh, you know, a green stripe here. You can just keep it as the one stripe. Or if you want to actually add an outline, you can do that. And now you have, so now you have some, some more customization options when it comes to building your rosters, which is really cool. Another thing that somebody, which I think is the first thing that they wanted were to be able to change the face mask colors, right? So now you can actually do that. You can change all the uh, the face masks with different colors in here and they're gonna be there are gonna be some new files if you guys are doing some behind the scenes modding you're gonna have a face mask colors file and a helmet stripe colors file and those two files are, are what are what are being used in these two areas here so you can change those at your discretion and you can get whatever colors you want just keep in mind that you're gonna want to keep your helmet colors that you have, which is basically your jersey colors, your main colors file. You're going to want those to be, uh, if you want to use a solid helmet, you're going to want to have the same colors in both so that you can pick, you know, the all black like we just did earlier without the stripe. 
But going back to face masks, you can do everything now. You can you can change every single face mask um, in the game to whatever color you want. The entire team gets the face mask, obviously. So if you want to do like a cool color like yellow, you can do that. And uh, and for the away jerseys here, they're going to get the this yellow gold color, right? Jerseys work the same way. You know, you can pick whatever jersey you want. Let's go ahead with this blue. Um, sleeves. Now, sleeves before what was happening is, like I said, like I mentioned, when you would change your sleeve colors, well, guess what? You'd get the same color in the pants stripe, right? But now what we have is uh, we have a separation of that, right? So let me pick a color here that's cool looking that I like. I kind of want something that's a little bit like, like that color is cool. I like that color. But now the stripe could be whatever you want. And these are going to be part of the jersey colors as well. So if you want to have a different stripe than, you know, than what you had on the sleeve, you can do that, right? We can pick this red color if we want, or pink. And you can make it that color now. Socks work the same way. And same thing for shoes. But now you have more options. You have more capabilities. And I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, it's not a huge deal. You've added some colors and some things, but I'm telling you, go find another pixel game that's doing this. And if you do, let me know. I know there are some out there that do it on a very smaller scale, but when you're talking about layering everything out, I think it took me like three full, like 30 plus hours just to recolor and add in um, all of this new stuff as far as just like the sprites, nothing to do with the coding, all this stuff we did here to get this work in. So it was a major, major effort. It's a lot harder to do than your typical 3D games. I'm just gonna let you guys know because this is a big deal. Um, and it took a lot of work, but I spent the entire week working on it. I feel really good about it, right? The other thing that I added while I was here is, let's keep those changes. Let's keep them, let's save them. The other thing that I added here was the, uh, let's actually pick Washington because Washington, I just edited a minute ago. So we can actually see that in here. Um, one of the things I added were more face masks. So when I go create my teams before all you had were these six different face masks, you had zero all the way through five. This is all we had here. Okay. And that was a very limiting thing because as you know, in any sport, any any uh, league, any football league, there are a lot of different helmets and a, a lot of a lot of variations when it comes to face masks, right? So what I did is I added ten more face masks, which means that's part of that thirty plus forty hour whatever work that it took me just to get them in the game on every single animation and every single layer. So now we have some new face masks. Here's one of them, right? Uh, here's another one. I'll just scroll through them really quick. So you guys can see some of these are more for like linemen and stuff. This is your, you know, your typical face mask for a running back or whatever. This is something that's got more protection. Um, this is like the old school ones back in the day. If you want to get that, you know, that old school linebacker or lineman face mask, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you got this one, then you got this one, which I like a lot because it has that top bar piece. So you can pick that. You can choose whatever visor you want. You can obviously change the color of your visors. You can not have a visor at all, right? If you want to make it more like a uh, like that, you could do something something like that. And so you have a lot of new options with the with the game, with this patch. Like I said, there are also some fixes in here to the game, but you can see all the players. They, you know, they. They have some some more variety now. When you go to the field, which we're going to go into a quick quick game here. We're just going to do a uh, training camp full scrimmage. We'll do Washington versus the Cardinals because I just updated them. But now you have so many more possibilities, and I'm really, really excited about it because I think it's going to be pretty cool. Let's just change this just to make it look a little different, and then let's just jump into a, uh, to a scrimmage here. But it's going to give a lot more options. It's in the new patch. The new patch is out today. If you don't see it yet, it's being pushed out as we speak. 
Uh, so it should be there available to you. The one thing that it does do, just so you guys are aware, because I had to change all of the roster structure, is it is it probably will it's going to break for sure certain parts of the game. So I'm going to I'm going to put a uh, as part of the release, it will update and it will clean out all of your user data. So if you have rosters that you've saved, if you're doing any modding, back all that up because there are some new columns in the roster, uh, the roster files. So your careers and your tournaments, I, I'm going to blow them out. So uh, they might still actually work, but I suggest getting, you know, getting rid of them. But as you can see here, there, we have it in the game, right? The new, the new colors, the new face mask, the new options, they're, they're in here. So, you know, you guys can actually, you know, see them close up here and it looks pretty cool. And you have a lot more variety. Like I said, I mean, look at these linemen alone. They, they each have a different helmet and that's really, really exciting because I know it, I know it's, it seems simple because all the games have it, but I'm telling you it, it's a lot of work and it's, it's not an easy thing to do and I'm just excited about it. So this is the update. There are also a few other things, head on over to steam to check out the, uh, the release notes. There's some gameplay fixes from last time to improve the game. People were complaining about some major bugs, but I wanted to get this done before I released it. I've been working super hard. I've been continuing to work hard in this game. So if you guys are supporting it, know that you're supporting something that's actively being updated. And at the same time, I'm just one guy, so don't expect the world. And uh, if you can, if you like it, leave a review. For some reason, we've been getting some bad reviews. The last so many reviews, I don't know why. Um, people, some people just want to leave bad reviews for some reason, but know that when you're buying this game, you're buying it as an early access product, which means it's not finished yet, but what it is, is continually being improved and updated. And I can tell you right now, <laughs> I'm listening. And this is just another example of how I'm listening. So go check it out, go download it, make some new rosters, have some fun, enjoy the game, and uh, look forward to updating you, you with some more updates in the future. Okay, peace.